Hey guys, how you doing? It's Art from Art's Model Trains. So today I want to do a slightly different video than I normally do. I'm going to try this out. So I'd love some feedback from you guys to tell me uh, if you enjoy this and I should do any of these other types of videos. But uh, a while back I was watching a video on Sean's Train Depot where he was on his standard gauge layout creating a IR sensor with a relay kind of contraption that would trigger the uh, Gateman uh, accessory he had to go off every time a train went by. And I was thinking to myself, what could I do with relays? So I started searching online and figuring out like, hey, I want to experiment with this. What could I do on our layout with that? And I came up with the idea to install little signals at the switches in our yard area so that I could um, hook them up to the switch tracks with the relays and be able to see just at a glance which way the tracks are configured and add a little bit of realism as far as you know, signals showing red or green if a track is switched or not. I don't even know. I ordered these signals uh, off of We Honest on eBay. I'm not quite sure if they're right for uh, the use I'm using them for, but I really like the signals and they're relatively cheap. So I'll put a link to the signals and the relays and Sean's video. And I guess hopefully if I can find it, the forum post I used to help figure this all out. But I wanna walk you guys through real in, uh, in detail kind of how I set this up um, on my layout. So maybe if you guys are interested in something like this, you guys can hook it up on your side. Okay, so let me just do a quick demo of how this works. Um, and then I'll show you some of the details about how I set this up. And we can look at um, my switch tracks are actually labeled one, two, and three um, in the uh, TMCC system. So if I switch this track over here, this signal will switch. And if I switch this track here, I actually have both of these signals set up on the same relay so they'll uh, alternate back obviously back and forth so if i do switch to and change that to curve you can see that changes to red and then back to green and then switch three in the same way and unfortunately not a lot of great lighting down here and i can't get a real close-up but that is a dc power terminal block i put in back there to power the signals and the relay and then you can see the relay board there and some of the wires running around so i will go ahead and i'll pull you guys out of the live kind of version of this video and put a diagram up on the screen and kind of show you how i wired this together and uh hopefully you guys can take advantage of it okay so let's see if i could do this on a sheet of paper here so you guys can see what i did um let me orient you first so on the right hand side here you can see this is where my terminal block was for my dc power this is the switch tracks up here. Obviously, I had three of them. I actually only used uh, signals on two of them. There is a diode you need to do, um, and I'll, f I'll put the link of that in the um, in the description below. And I put a picture of where you hook up uh, to the switch track in there as well. That goes. That is your trigger that goes into the relay, and then uh, your signal itself obviously connects to the relay itself and the DC power. And then you have to link this all into the AC common. That's something I I learned on the forum, which I, I really did not think about in advance. So um, off of the DC power, first of all, you just have to run a positive and a negative to the relay itself to power the board. So the board itself is um, got one side has three triggers and on the other side has three, or I think actually the board I bought has four triggers and four spots to hook in four signals, but I only used two of them at this point. Um, so that's just to power the board itself. As I mentioned before, in this switch track, if you open up the bottom of the fast track switch tracks, there's a, uh, a space in there with a screw where you can uh, attach a wire that will, um, with the diode, uh, give you the uh, trigger, or the indication that the switch has changed uh, orientation. And you connect that into the appropriate trigger. So they're labeled one, two, three, four. And on this side of the relay here, where there's the actual connections for the signals, they're labeled one, two, three, four. And then they also have the um, inputs, the three, uh, sorry, the three slots for you to connect the uh, terminal uh, signal itself. Sorry. Um, then what you do is, and the one last piece I missed, right, that I had to look up on the form and figure out was the AC common off of just my track power for this track, which is all track one for me, um, I just linked in the AC common to the DC positive on the terminal block. One simple little wire, nothing crazy there. Don't connect the negative or anything like that. 
and uh, that syncs everything up. On the signal itself, you have one wire that goes into uh, the closed piece of the relay, one, one wire that goes into the open uh, piece of the relay, and then off of the common, you, that's where you put your negative power. And then the, uh, the black wire off of these signals is the power uh, for the signal itself, and that you run over to your DC plus power supply. So that powers the signal, and then obviously the DC negative coming into here will complete the um, loop, the power loop to light the red or the green light, depending on which way the relay flips. Um, and then I, you know, put this times three here. It's actually because it's times three signals. So I have three separate sets of wires, right? There's three running to the DC plus from the three different signals. And then I used, uh, like I said, two of the relays. So one of the relay itself has two signals hooked into it. Um, and that's for switch track three, like I said before, because they alternate back and forth. I didn't need to use the third relay for that one. Um, so I'll take a close up picture of this and also drop it into the uh, video so you guys could see it a little better. And then on the actual forum uh, where I looked this up, this diagram is also like kind of covered in a, uh, a little bit of a different format. The one thing I will point out is they were using signals that were purchased off of Amazon, which were um, wired differently than my We Honest signals. Uh, so I did have to just pay attention as to which one was the power wire that went to the DC plus uh, terminal block power versus the signals uh, theirs were wired in a different way. And the one thing I would say is just, you know, when you get this hooked up, and you start to use it if the lights are just flipped green and red are not lined up with the way you need them all you do is just flip the wires uh back and forth um so it wasn't a lot of effort you know once <laughs> as you can see it's not that complicated the hardest part was maybe soldering the diodes into this trigger wire for the three switch track or two switch tracks um and then just getting all this kind of wired up underneath the layout uh, as neatly as i could it was kind of the hardest thing this dc terminal block it's just power, powered by a 12 volt um, DC power supply that I bought off of Amazon. All this stuff was purchased off of Amazon. So I hope this helps you guys, like I said. Um, and I really you know, encourage everybody to give uh, something like this a shot in their layout. It's, uh, it's just a fun little project. Like I said, not expensive, um, but kind of cool to add some realism. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys learned something from this. Like I said, every time I watch Sean's videos, um, I always learn something new and I look at what he does and I'm like, how can I take those concepts and apply them to my layout? Um, and I do the same obviously with other, um, other YouTubers and other folks on the forums, but his videos in particular, I like because he has a lot of little like electronic things that he does. Um, and that's always just something I find interesting to just kind of figure out how to make it work. And a lot of the components, like you'll see, if you follow the links I added below, um, are not expensive. So this is more of like a, hey, take the time, figure it out, put it together kind of thing. It's not really a lot of money involved, but it does add a lot of detail and a lot of realism to your layout. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again next time.